Yo, what is going on everybody and welcome back to a brand new Fortnite video. In this one, I'm going to be showing you guys how it is that you guys can get your very own support a creator code here in Fortnite. So the support a creator program has been around for about six or eight months or so. And it's actually a little way that you can help your favorite streamers or your favorite content creators by using their code in the Fortnite item shop or in even in the Epic game store. And every time that you make a purchase or download a skin, download a game from the Epic game store, you will actually be helping the creator that you support by using their code. Now, this is a code that pretty much anyone can acquire, but there are a few requirements in order to actually get your own code for Epic Games and for the Fortnite item shop as well. So in this video, we're going to break down all the steps, everything that you guys need to know about the supporter creator program and how it is that you guys can actually get your very own item shop code. Now, I actually just got my very own support a creator code. The code is guiding light. So if you guys would like to use that in the Fortnite item shop, that actually was just activated yesterday. So you guys can actually go about doing that. And I really appreciate anybody that does use my support a creator code. I've been trying to get one for months on end. And a lot of my subscribers have been asking me, you know, where's your support a creator code? I do want to support you. And the truth was, I just didn't even actually have one. But after talking to Epic Games for the past two weeks, after getting in contact with their support team a bunch of different times, I was able to get my supporter creator code set up. And the new code is actually just guiding light. So if you use that in the item shop or the Epic Game store, you will actually be helping me out a ton. And with that being said, we're going to get right on into how to actually get the supporter creator code as I have been going about trying to get one for months. And I do finally know how to get one and go about every single step. And I want to help you guys out just in case maybe you guys have been having the same issues and you just didn't really know how it is that you could go about getting your support a creator code. So the very first thing that you guys do need to do in order to create a support a creator code on Epic Games is to enable 2FA on the Epic Games website. Now I'm going to leave a link down below on how it is that you guys can get over to the Epic Games website. Now once you guys log in, you will need to go over to your account settings and you need to enable two-factor authentication. So you're going to click on account and then you need to sign in to your Epic Games account or your PlayStation Network account. And after you've done that, you need to go down to password and security and you're going to scroll down to the bottom there and fill out the information to enable 2FA. Now this whole process will really only take about maybe five minutes and if you've already done it you can completely skip this and you do not need to worry about enabling 2FA. Now in order to enable two-factor authentication you will need to have the email login for your Fortnite account. Now this isn't anything that I can really help you guys out with but once you guys log into Fortnite as long as you guys know the email you know the password to your account you can go about doing this. Now, if for some reason you do not know the login email or you just are completely unaware of what your password is, you will need to contact the Epic Games support team and let them know what is going on. So if for some reason you do not know the password to your account or maybe you don't know the login email, you will need to go to the contact Epic Games support and you will need to go through this process and let them know that you do not know your email or you do not know your password. Now I want to give a big shout out to the Epic Games support team. Honestly, you would think that they don't really have the time or they don't have the resources to sit here and answer as many questions as people do ask them. But every time that I would hit them up or ask them about anything that had to do with my account or try to contact their support team, they would always get back to me within two hours. And then after they got back to me the first time, if I was fast and actually replied to them within five, 10 minutes, they would literally get back to me within five, 10 minutes, sometimes even within one minute. So the Epic Games support team is, seems to really be on top of things. They really do actually look at their messages. And I used to think that maybe it would take days for them to reply. But in most cases, they replied in the very same day. And honestly, sometimes we even within the same hour. So just go through the process of contacting the Epic support team. Let them know that you don't know your email or let them know that you're having trouble logging into your account and that you want to enable 2FA. Now, Epic Games will get back to you and tell you, hey, like we can we can enable 2FA, but you will need to prove that you're the owner of the account. So they're going to ask you a few questions like what's your IP address? When's the last time you logged on? And so long as you can answer all of these questions and you have the legitimate information, you will have your account unlocked within 48 hours time. So now that you guys have two factor authentication enabled and on top of that, you guys know your login email, you know your password you can go about getting your very own support a creator code. So the second link in the description will be a link to go straight to the Epic Games website where you can apply for your very own support a creator code. There is a little bit of an application process in which you need to go through in order to get a support a creator code. And on top of that, you will need to qualify under a few of their guidelines. 
before you can even submit an application. So we're going to go over all of the guidelines and all of the requirements that you will need in order to submit an application for an Epic game support a creator code. So the requirements for a support a creator code on Epic Games are as follows. So the very first thing you will need to do is have 1,000 followers on either Twitter, YouTube, or Instagram. It doesn't actually have to be YouTube, but you will need to have a minimum of 1,000 followers on whichever platform that you guys use. On top of that, you need to make sure that you've never been banned, you haven't broken any of the major Fortnite rules, otherwise you will not be accepted into the support a creator program. On top of that, the third requirement is to be capable of receiving payment in a form that Epic supports. So you either need to have a PayPal account or a bank account because those are the two things that Epic Games supports and how it is that they can actually pay you if you make money through their code. So once you know that you can meet all these requirements, it's time to actually start an application. Now all you'll need to do is click on apply at the top here of the page. They're going to have you fill out a bunch of different information and once you've filled out that information, you will have submitted your application to join the Epic Games Support A Creator program. Now the application process can take about a week, sometimes even two weeks. It just depends how many different applications they have and who it is that's going to be reviewing your application once it is found. So this process really only took me maybe like five days, but I've heard stories of it taking up to two weeks and it even says in their guidelines that it may take them up to two weeks to review your application. So you need to be checking your email pretty much every day, every so often, trying to figure out exactly when it is that they're going to email you back. Now, right after you submit your application, there is a very important step that you guys do not want to miss. So after you guys have applied for your supporter creator code, Epic Games is going to send you a unique code that's just a bunch of random letters. And what you need to do once they have sent you that code is follow these instructions here. You need to copy your unique verification code and you need to paste it somewhere where they can find it on your social media account. So if you are trying to apply through Twitter, just put it in your bio. If you're trying to do it on Twitch, you need to put it in a panel. Uh, Facebook and YouTube basically follow the same guidelines, but you just need to put it somewhere that Epic Games can find it if they go to click on your account. This is very important and you do not want to miss this step. Now, after you've copied your code, you just need to wait in your email and eventually they are going to get back to you. Once they finally get back to you, you can go on with the next step. So once you get your email, you will either be accepted into the Supporter Creator Program or you won't. So if you were not accepted into the Supporter Creator Program, you will need to wait a couple weeks, get a more, some more followers, gain some more support, and then you can actually apply again and try to get another code in a few weeks. But if you guys were accepted, there is some more that you guys need to do in order to actually get your Supporter Creator Code to work. And this part is honestly probably the hardest part of the entire process, especially if you guys have never done certain paperwork like this before. It can be extremely confusing. So I would take this part really slow. You don't want to mess this part up as it could really affect your ability to get a code. And not only that, but if you're under 18, I honestly just suggest getting a parent to help you do this. Uh, I wouldn't normally say that, you know, if you're not under 18, you can pretty much do this yourself. Don't get me wrong. But because of the fact that this has to do with finances and a lot of legal information, I do suggest that if you're under 18 or you don't know much about this stuff, that you do try to get a parent or guardian to go over the next part with you as it is really confusing if you don't know what you're talking about and you can actually really screw yourself over if you type in the wrong information so you really do want to make sure that you do this part properly and i just wanted to let you guys know before you guys go through with this because i don't really know how old all of you guys are or whether or not you guys really know what we're about to get into so what we're actually about to do is fill out a w9 tax form now, if you guys don't know what a W-9 is, it's basically just a form that says that a company is going to pay you some money. And at the end of the year, you know, everyone has to pay taxes. So they're going to track how much money you make, send that information to the government, and then you're going to have to pay money based off of however much you make using this Epic Games Support A Creator code. So that might be a little bit confusing for someone that doesn't really know about finances or paying taxes. But if you guys know about taxes, this isn't really all that new. And to be honest, it literally only takes like five minutes time. But because of the fact that you do need to enter in your social security number, you need to enter in your address, you need to enter in either your PayPal account or your bank account. This is why I really suggest, you know, taking this part slowly. And if you're under 18, you definitely want to get a parental or legal guardian to take over and, you know, really look over this information for you. Because if you type in the wrong information, you're not going to get paid. You're also going to get screwed over at the end of the year when you have to pay taxes on the money that you make if you end up making money. And if you typed in the wrong information, it's not really going to go through right. You could go have some problems with that. And on top of that, if your parents don't really know about this and you start making a bunch of money, you're actually going to cause them to have to pay money 
because of the fact that they probably claim you as a dependent. So if you're under 18, please listen to my advice and, you know, really take your time going through with this process as I'm really speaking from experience here and it can really screw you guys over in the future if you do not do this part correctly. So that's pretty much it. Once you guys have done that, once you've submitted your W-9 form and typed in your social security and all the information that Epic Games asks for in their email, you will actually be able to start using your support a creator code. Now, if some of these things creep you guys out, like you don't want Epic Games to know your address, you don't want them to have access to certain things like your social security number because you know, Epic Games has gotten hacked a few times in the past and a lot of their information does seem to get leaked whenever people get hacked. Like there was a little hack maybe six, eight months ago when Fortnite was really, really popular. And I remember they stole the credit cards from a bunch of different accounts. And so if your information is in this database, there is a chance that it could get compromised if Epic Games has another one of their little breaches or gets hacked again. So all this stuff is something to take into account if you are about to go through with the support a creator process. And I want to let you guys know about everything that you guys could possibly think of before you guys do this because if you aren't on top of your finances, you aren't on top of all your stuff and you're not on top of what's going on with Fortnite, you could actually really mess yourself up here. And so if you aren't a major creator or if you're not gonna be somebody that's really gonna be on top of their supported creator code and all of their information, then I don't really suggest doing this as it could actually hurt you in the future. So other than that though guys, that's pretty much it. I'm sorry if this got dragged out a little bit with some warnings and stuff like that. Overall, I would definitely go through with doing the support a creator program. As I said, I already have my very own code, but it's just that certain people under 18 or maybe certain people that don't know much about finances, you might not want to go through with actually doing the support a creator program. But that's pretty much it. I wanted to let you guys know everything that I possibly could about the support a creator program, all the good, all the bad, and exactly how it is you can go about getting your very own supported creator code. So if this video helped you guys out, I know it was a little bit long, but please be sure to drop a like down below. Subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I will catch you guys in the next Fortnite video. Peace.